morning. Welcome to my car. Today we're going to the antique store. I don't really need anything for Little Acre specifically today, but I do need some new coffee mugs, some new old coffee mugs. Um, the last couple of ours that were part of a set we had that we were gifted for our wedding have gone on to chipped mug heaven. Um, so we're going to be replacing those with some Fiesta wear in the same colors that I purchased for our dishware to replace the exact same set that is also broken. Um, so looking forward to that, looking forward to this trip. I've never done a video like this before, so we'll see how it goes. Probably gonna end up just being mostly a voiceover of me telling you what I did or didn't buy. We'll see. So here we are at Queen of Hearts Antiques and Interiors in Marietta. I love this style of art, this like floral print, very farmhousey, rustic looking furniture. It's so cute. I just love it. Okay, let's talk about this ball mason jar in the back. It's a half gallon ball perfect mason and they wanted $20.98 for it. That is ridiculous. I would never pay more than $10 for this jar. These are little perfume jars. They do really well on Etsy when you sell them as a potion prop for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this booth is fine. I don't usually buy anything like this because I have a Cricut at home and I can make most of this myself. Um, I love this booth specifically because they always have mason jars. They used to have more, but I bought most of them. I don't know what this is. I don't like it. And then I did end up bringing home this Dre jar. It's $14, which is very comparable to what you would pay for this exact same jar um, on eBay with shipping. So I went ahead and got it. It has a ball, um, zinc, and milk glass lid. I love hand embroidered towels. I think they're so pretty. I want this tarot screen for absolutely no reason. And who doesn't want a suit of armor? Just put it in your living room, it's great. These are metal plant stakes. My footage got a little messed up, but they're wonderful. I love this mushroom set, but hello, look at that recipe box. And when I opened it, oh my gosh, I just like gasped. I was so happy to see handwritten recipes in it. It was $20. I picked it up and I'm working on archiving the recipes now. I just love this owl. He's so cute. I really love all these vintage handmade quilts. I think they're so beautiful. Um, the clothing is cute as well. I love these chairs. Um, I have this dream goal of having kind of a mismatched antique chair dining room set. Uh, someday, but these chairs even though they were really affordable unfortunately were really short um, Which just wouldn't really work for me and my family I do like this um, this little mason jar set would be a really cute planter to hang on the wall But you can make it a lot cheaper than $28 Rest in peace, Betty White, my queen. Okay, I love these chairs too, but they were $225 a piece. They were definitely worth it. Um, they're very well constructed, but I just do not have that kind of money for dining room chairs. And this is why we're here. I came here for the Fiesta wear to replace my um, dinner wear set. I ended up picking um, four different colors and matching them together. Hey, quick editor's note. I went to Cobb Antique Mall after Queen of Hearts, but the footage was messed up for the beginning of like walking into the store. It was sideways and I am not driving out to Marietta just to reshoot that. Anyway, enjoy. So I asked if they had any Fiesta wear here, and they did, but unfortunately none of the pieces were in the colors that I had picked out, and they didn't have any of the mugs I wanted. I love these sleigh bells. They are so beautiful, and they've been here every time that I come in. I want them, I have no use for them, but gosh, they are tempting. 
I also found this blue Pyrex, the snowflake pattern Pyrex. Um, I have found that Pyrex is almost always overpriced when you buy it at an antique store. I mean, $42 and $48 for a bowl is too much. So this is a great way to stack your Pyrex if you're trying to show it off. By putting a piece of wood, like a wood block, under each bowl, you can show everyone off without, you know, putting them upside down and risking them falling over. This booth is just so homey. I love the whole vibe. And this wall of glassware is gorgeous. There's a lot of Fenton on here and lots and lots in the hobnail pattern. This little set here is so beautiful. I love the blue color and the pattern. I don't know why I filmed this. I just think he's kind of cute. All right, I love this section too. I always worry I'm gonna break something, but I love to walk through it anyway and see all of the old glass. A lot of the green glass that you see here is Vaseline glass or uranium glass, which is perfectly safe to use. I don't own any, but if you ever find some, I think it's definitely worth getting. Found another recipe box. It's empty, shoot. Look at this distinguished gentleman. He's adorable. So this is called a gem pan. And a gem is a type of essentially biscuit, as far as I can tell, based on a recipe that I have from my grandma. The holes between the um, different biscuit uh, sections allow for better airflow around the cast iron pan so you get a more even cook. Um, it was a little bit too expensive for me. I do see these at estate sales often, and I'll probably pick one up there. Saw some more mason jars. Didn't end up getting any of these. I do own them already, um, but the Alice Easy Seal is just gorgeous. Um, I do very frequently pick up uh, duplicate jars when I see them. Um, they can be kind of hard to resist. So I come back to this booth a lot and I haven't bought too many mason jars from them. Their prices are pretty high. Like this Ball Perfect Mason is a quart jar. They want $45 for it and that is just absurd. You can get a jar like that for maybe $8. Same on this other Ball jar, also marked at $45. They also have their dates on the tag very slightly off. Um, which makes me think they maybe don't know enough about these jars to be pricing them appropriately. I do have an Alice Good Luck jar already. It's worth about $8. But what keeps bringing me back here is this Amber Glass Putnam Fruit Jar. It's marked at $225 or best offer. And if they accepted a much lower offer on this, I would probably buy it. Um, however, I'm not sure if it's an actual antique or reproduction. It is... It, it just doesn't look antique to me. I would have expected um, a less good condition for an antique, and I would also expect a lot more bubbles um, because of the way antique jars were hand-blown. They also have a second similar one that is marked at $220. They used to keep them together, and at first I thought that last one sold. Here's some more chairs that are super cute. Um, they also were a pretty decent price. They were on sale, um, but I just don't have the money for this set right now. So then we have the Pyrex booth. I love this booth. They have so many beautiful bowls and pans, but they're usually pretty overpriced. I love this cross-stitch sampler. I did end up buying it. It was $10. It's so, so cute. I think it was made in 19... 89 or 85. Um, it has a cardboard backing and it looks like it was reframed at some point. These boxes are usually of really great construction. I love them for storage in my garage. You can find them from farms. You can also find them for old products. This one is a Heinz baked beans with tomato sauce product box. They also come usually with built-in handles for easy carrying. Um, I use them for harvest boxes in my garden and, like I said, for storage as well. Lots of Corningware in this booth. It's very pretty. 
Um, they also have a lot of antique and vintage glass bottles. I've purchased some mason jars from this booth too, and they're all really cool. I don't know what this praying saint sculpture is, but he's really cool and I want him. Just kidding, he's $275. I love all these booths with this beautiful kitchen aesthetic. And then at the end of the store is comic books. All right, so we had a great day antiquing for things for our house or for Little Acre Farm. I am really excited about what we got. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find all of the mugs in the Fiesta Wear colors that I've chosen. So I'll need to keep an eye out for that. I need one more meadow and two of the turquoise in that bistro latte mug style. Um, and then at Cobb Antiques, we got that little sampler. They didn't have a whole lot that I was really interested in today. I also spent some time looking at um, rings and jewelry. Um, I've kind of had my eye out for some vintage rings just for myself to wear. They didn't have anything that really caught my eye that wasn't a bazillion dollars, <laughs> and that's totally fine. Um, there is a Goodwill out this way that I usually like to stop at too, but it is starting to rain and I need to have enough time to get home and pick up my kiddo. So I'm going to call it here for today. I hope this video was of interest to you. If you saw something in one of these stores that you thought was really cool, let me know what it was and I'll go back through the video and see if I can find more information on it or give you more info in the comments. Thanks for stopping by Little Acre Farm and coming antique shopping with me. I'll see you soon. Thanks for subscribing. Bye.